r slash ask reddit students of reddit what was the biggest teacher meltdown you ever witnessed i don't know if it really counts but our former latin teacher once slapped a kid across the face because the kid made fun of her dead husband she got suspended shortly afterwards edit the teacher got suspended not the student junior year in university my genetics professor was in the middle of a lecture when authorities took him out of the auditorium thank goodness and informed him that his wife the dean of our college had been struck and killed by a motor vehicle that morning he retreated to his office and proceeded to tear the place apart like a tornado had gone through it he ripped the top of his desk off its frame pulled down all of his bookcases books pages papers all sorts of documents and furniture strewn everywhere in pieces by the time i graduated he still wasn't the same man as he was before that awful day to be fair that's a pretty solid reason to tear apart an office if there ever was one i imagine him getting bad news prof thank you officer the officer are you okay prof yes i just need to go straighten out my office close his door loud destructive sounds the officer wow he took that really well I was nervous for nothing. I had the same morning tutor from the age of 11 16. She was really, really lovely. She was an English teacher and we always chatted about literature and films. She was always up for a laugh and joked around with us all the time. A few times a year she'd buy a load of food and treats to dish out. Then, when we were about 14 she got engaged. A year later, the relationship was over and she was a wreck. She suddenly got really quiet. Then, one day, we were all talking and laughing but she was trying to get our attention. She couldn't get the attention, and suddenly burst into tears. Took off her red card and, in the dead silence of the room, said, I can't do this. She walked out of the room and we didn't see her again for weeks. She's now traveling the world. I have her on Instagram. Last time I checked she was in Nepal. In high school our government teacher freaked out on my class. We had a few talkers in the back corner but they finally broke him. He flipped his lectern over and started screaming at us. He called us the worst group of kids he'd ever had to teach and that he was 110% accurate that we were going to be nothings. Then he went to his desk and drank his entire thermos of coffee. A few years later, he was having a retirement party at his house. I was close friends with his son. He revealed that the thermos was 80% vodka and 20% coffee. What the duck is wrong with that guy? Drinking coffee and vodka in front of all those students. What if they found out? He could have been a terrible influence on them for the rest of their lives. Whiskey goes in coffee, not vodka. Maybe not a meltdown per se, but I had a chemistry class that was held in a huge auditorium with really steep stairs. The professor always walked all around the room while we took quizzes and tests. One day he tripped halfway up the auditorium stairs and took a hell of a fall. He landed face down, unhurt apart from bruises, on the floor and before we could really react he starts banging his fists on the floor and screaming, entropy entropy entropy. It started as a normal lesson with the teacher giving the class a lecture. Then his phone rang which happens really rarely but instead of hanging up like he would usually do, he answered. When he hung up, he had the most distraught face I've ever seen and stayed silent for close to a minute. I'm sorry, a friend just committed suicide. He said before sobbing quietly and excusing himself out of the classroom. Edit. Wow there's so many sad stories going down there. I'm so sorry for all the losses teachers have experienced. In my second year of teaching, my wife was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I had to tell my class that I would be missing a lot of days because of that. One student walked up from the back of the room, and I looked at him as if to ask what he was doing. He said, you need a hug, and gave me a big hug in the front of the classroom. Not quite the same thing but I'll put it here as a response anyway. It was during French classes during my 8th grade. The teacher was a notoriously known for being a hardest. He would often berate you for mispronounced words, etc. This day we were doing French presentations. Everybody was on edge because we would probably get destroyed. Three or four students in. We heard a knock on the door. It was one of the vice principals of the school. We couldn't hear anything but there was a quick chat. The teacher went back up to the class and we resumed. Halfway through the next presentation he just started sobbing and informed us one of our classmates, who had been missing, had passed away. You see, 
In the morning, an announcement had been made that this girl had been crossing the street and had been hit by a speeding car. She was rushed to the hospital but after a few hours of emergency surgery, she died. It really woke me up though. I used to think this teacher had the worst intentions and was a hard ass just cause he could be and didn't give two craps about us. But he genuinely cared so much for his students. I had him later in a higher grade and absolutely loved him. He was genuinely one of the best teachers and gave it all he had when he taught. Much respect Mr. Chu. In primary school some kids were misbehaving and she broke down into tears started screaming and threw a chair. We never saw her again. In my senior year my English teacher was assaulted by a serial rapist. She was going to check her mail and he grabbed her. She was tiny, but she fought him off and he ran when someone came to see WTF was going on. She wasn't raped. Thank god. But she definitely had PTSD. This was in 89. So she wouldn't have been diagnosed with anything. I don't know why she decided to tell our class. But she fell apart when she got about halfway through. She wasn't the only one. There were a couple of big old boys in that class who were both star football players. Gotta say, until this I thought they were just another couple of jock meatheads. They were both in tears. She finished her story. I can't say that any of us did anything amazing or actually anything at all. But she didn't ever have to walk to her car alone and some of the students who lived in the same apartment complex kept an eye on her. They got the bastard who attacked her about a year later. He was a very bad man and nearly killed one of the last women he attacked. Year 9 maths class. Our teacher was off sick and an early 20s substitute teacher came in to cover. She was lovely, kind, friendly, although a bit timid and shy. One girl in our class used a fountain pen to flick ink on a skirt she was wearing one day. Poor women noticed her do it, didn't say a word and just went to her desks put her head in her hands and sobs. Doesn't move to 10 minutes at least. Eventually a friend of mine goes to get another teacher. The sub was escorted out, still crying and was seen for the rest of the day just crying in her car. Didn't move for another 4 or so hours. It was probably her only work outfit and she wasn't making enough to buy anything else to wear. Similar thing happened with a new sub in HS. They have it rough. I'm starting to think teachers deserve more tips than any other jobs. Teaching is one of the only jobs where people are actively trying to stop you from doing your job. Up there with the armed services in that sense. I had a Spanish teacher in middle school that was so tired of us turning in broken Spanish on our homework assignments that she screamed at us and called us stupid Americans before throwing pieces of chalk at us one after the other. Another time she got on her knees and started praying the rosary in front of us when a girl said El Polo Nugget. We had a physical education teacher who sweat like a mofo whenever exil subjects were raised. He ended up having to be a substitute teacher for one of our ex ed lessons. We were very aware of his discomfort discussing the subjects and asked him lots of in-depth questions, making sure we used all the correct anatomical terminology. The guy had a class A anxiety attack, pity no one had taught us about those, and I was genuinely afraid he was going to have a heart attack, red face, profuse sweating, breathing difficulty and a look of primal terror in his eyes. We got the early mark we were fishing for, but I think we did the poor fellow some real emotional damage. We had a biology teacher who, whenever exil topics came up, as it were, would get rather excited, in a physical way, with, you know, a raging boner. He ended up doing exit for my class. It was not great. He would not have needed his pointer that day. I was in band. One day, one of the regular always in trouble disruptive students was being extra disruptive while the director was trying to tell us something important. So after about 5 different times of going the normal route to get him to settle down, he cracked. It got quiet and then the director bellowed, student's name, are you stupid, or just don't give a it, the whole room was quiet. All eyes were now on the disruptive kid who was then trying to hide behind his tuba. Then. The director continued with his announcement like nothing happened. How of course it was the tuba player. Bunch of misfits. They are. I played trombone. So I'm well versed in the ways of the low brass mafia. This was in high school. We had a band teacher. His nickname was Pinky because he had very red hair and pale skin with a red tint. Borderline albino. Every time he got mad his entire face turned tomato red. I don't remember the sequence of events. But he was already frustrated. Everyone in the room knew to shut up so that we didn't piss him off. Well, 
Everyone except this one dippy girl. She asked something along the lines of are you mad and kept pestering him. He finally snapped. His face turned that familiar shade of tomato red and he threw the pencil he was using to conduct across the room. He then stormed out and slammed the door hard enough that it could be heard on the other side of the building. He quit soon after. I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed.